Hello, Cancer. Cancer, welcome to your reading. Let's have a look to see the vibration and energies that are currently around you at this present moment in time. Let's see what is coming up. The divine is saying to you, have a little compassion for yourself. Be gentle with yourself. Step into that energy of self-acceptance. Forgive yourself. Love yourself. Buy flowers for yourself. The divine is saying that for many of you, you're being too hard on yourself. You're beating yourself up. And for what? When you beat yourself up, you bring your vibration and your energy down. So the divine is saying, do something nice for yourself. Take care of your mental health. Whatever mistakes that you feel that you made, the divine is saying the past is the past. And there are some new beginnings that are going to be here. So let's get some more Oracle cards, Cancer, to see what else is coming towards you. The first card that you are receiving is saying to you, let's get our card that is currently stuck, is saying to you, expect the unexpected. From this card, the divine is saying to you, it is important for you to take care of your security, your security online, your security around your home, change your passwords, make sure when you're walking at home, you are aware of the people that are around you. Make sure that your security is at the forefront of your mind this week. The next card that we have, the divine is saying that for some of you, you currently feel stuck. For some of you, you're not knowing how to deal with the situation. But again, the divine wants you to understand that when you are compassionate, when you are gentle, when you are loving with yourself, this is when you are going to start figuring out how you can Start moving forward from a situation where you feel stuck, where you feel confused, where you don't know what to do next. So the next card that we have is speaking about procrastination. So the divine is saying to you that for some of you, you're currently feeling stuck at the moment, but you might feel that you are procrastinating. You are not making a choice, but sometimes you procrastinate because literally in your mind, you're feeling tired, you're feeling exhausted, you're feeling bent out. The divine is saying, when was the last time that you allowed yourself to rest? When was the last time that you allowed yourself to breathe? The divine is saying to you that procrastination is getting in the way. But how is procrastination manifesting in your in your life? For some of you, manifestation is through, like I said, through you feeling bent out, through you not being able to process what is going on because there's so much going on. Then again, the divine is saying to you, forgive yourself, be gentle with yourself, love yourself, accept where you are currently in life. But for some of you, the divine is saying you are procrastinating. So it is time for you to just be gentle and honest with yourself. Okay. So what we're going to do, we are going to get some tarot cards on the table to see what else is coming up. So let's have a look to see what our tarot cards are saying. And then we can start moving forward. All right. So the first card, two cards that are coming up. The first one is the energies of the two of wands. We spoke about you feeling stuck. And the divine is saying to you that again, you need to start making some choices because the energies of the number twos are about making some choices. Maybe for some of you, go traveling, okay? And if you can't because of money problems, of maybe commitments, work situations, the divine is saying just go online, watch, watch travel videos, look at brochures, do whatever it is that just uplifts your soul and your spirit. But for some of you, there's a feeling that is here where the divine is saying that you are not going to be stuck for a long time. You are going to be moving. You are going to be getting that visa. You are going to be seeing that life is going to change. So don't procrastinate. Make the plans that you need to make and see yourself finally moving, finally doing the thing that you're currently praying for. Because the energies of the Four of Cups is here. And the Four of Cups is saying to you that it is important, again, not allow yourself to start procrastinating. Because sometimes when you're procrastinating, you actually 
block the blessings that are wanting to come into your life. But remember what we said about feeling bent out, about feeling tired. So when, know when it is time for you to rest and recuperate and know when it is time for you to look and accept the gifts that are wanting to come into your life. Don't let procrastination get in the way and steal the blessings that are meant to be for you. So the divine is saying there's a lot that is currently going on where it feels like almost like it's confusing. Sometimes you're feeling stuck, you're feeling frustrated. And then when it is time for you to make some decisions, procrastination hits. So the divine is saying, just allow yourself to breathe because in your mind, there is just so much that is going on all at the same time. And when your mind is racing, this is when this stuck feeling starts getting bigger and bigger. So much so that you don't actually see the blessings that are starting to come that are wanting to manifest themselves. So let's have a look to see the next cards that you have. Again, the energies of resting, recuperating is here. So the divine is saying that again, in your mind, there's so much that is going on. Allow yourself to have a mental break. Allow yourself to breathe. Allow yourself to plan a holiday. Allow yourself to do the things that just allows you to be in the moment instead of thinking and worrying about the future. Because worrying about the future is something that is here. Because the energies of the moon card is about worry, it's about anxiety. But at the same time, what the divine is saying to you, with the energies of the moon card, there's just something that is going on. And because of maybe feeling lost, because of feeling stuck, because of procrastination, this thing is just getting bigger and bigger and bigger, and it is getting out of control. So the divine is saying it is important for you to look at everything in perspective rather than from the point of fear because when you're looking from the point of fear you lose control you don't see how you can gain control of a situation and then what happens the blessings that are meant to be coming in the new opportunities that are meant to be manifesting themselves you don't even see these opportunities knocking at your door because opportunities are something that is going to be coming towards you. The energies of the wheel of fortune is literally telling you that you are not going to be feeling stuck for much longer. There is movement, like I told you, in the background. In the background, the divine is working out something for you. There's a gift that is here. But for some of you, you are not wanting to accept the gift because it's coming in a different way, in a different form. You've already thought about everything. And if something else comes in, not wrapped up in the way that you envisioned it, you're just like, no, thank you. I'm just going to be sitting around here waiting. But the divine is saying that by accepting this gift, this blessing, the rest of your life is going to start unfolding in a way that you are not even anticipating. So there are big blessings that are going to be coming in a small way. When you accept them, you're showing faith. And through faith, this is how you're going to be coming in to money, into a new job, into a new love life, because the energies of the cups operate on the love situation. The energies of the wheel of fortune is saying to you that, again, you are not stuck. OK, you might be feeling stuck, but the truth is what you are not seeing is that the wheel of fortune is turning. There is movement that is happening. So it is time for you to stop procrastinating. It is time for you to get up, to take the action that you need to take, to take Lady Luck's hand and to roll the dice and to allow new situations to come into your life that are going to be creating the stability that you're praying for. So the energies is saying that there's a situation that is here where, again, you need to be gentle, forgiving for yourself, being compassionate with yourself because the energies of being stuck are being amplified by you beating yourself up. When you accept where you are right now, there's a sense of relief that is going to be there. And then you're going to be able to see different opportunities manifest and reveal themselves to you. So this movement that is going to be happening, there are blessings that are going to be happening. So the divine is saying it is important for you to make a choice about how this situation is going to unfold. Don't allow fear to cloud your judgment and to block the blessings that are wanting to manifest themselves into your life. 
So this is the energies that the divine wanted to highlight to you. And for those of you who are doing the quantum leap ritual, let's go over and do some magic. I'll see you on the magic side. Hello, magician. This is the section of the reading where we are remembering that we are the magicians and the architects of our lives. This is the very same manifestation ritual that I used in 2023 and it only took me a couple of weeks to become a multimillionaire. I wanted to share this ritual with you because I want that by 2025, we have thousands of people who have manifested their dreams. Now, we are going to be taking this opportunity to work together as a community, wishing each other well. On every reading, please do remember to bring a full glass of water and your petition. You could write what you want to leave behind and on the other side, have an empty glass with a petition of what you want to become a reality. We have our cards on the table and I use these cards just as a visualization to help me manifest. So I had this star card and the star card is all about your wishes coming true. And the next card that I had was the eight of wands, encouraging my wishes to come true quickly, swiftly, fast. And then I had the magician card, which was a reminder to me that I am the magician. I am the alchemist and I am the architect of my life. So these are cards that I just chose to work with, but you don't have to do that. You can just keep it simple and to the point. So are you ready to take part in this ritual? So bring your two glasses, one empty and one full of water. The one with water, just remember to write what it is that you want to leave behind because you are going to be quantum leaping into what it is that you want. So on the empty glass of water, write what it is that you are seeing yourself enjoying. If you're wishing to win the lottery, just say with gratitude divine, I am so thankful that I have won the lottery. Infuse this type of energy, the energies of the nine of cups. Feel yourself like it's already done. Bring this vibe, this energy when you are writing your petition like it is already a reality. Think of yourself how you're going to feel when you've won the lottery. So let's take a moment to just say a prayer to the divine with words of gratitude. Divine, thank you so much for everything that I already have in my life. Thank you for all the blessings that I have. Divine, I am the luckiest person alive. Going forward, I have some wishes that I want to make. I see myself living the life of my dreams. I see myself quantum leaping to a new timeline. Divine, where I have won the lottery, where I am a multimillionaire, where I am living the life of my dreams, where I am healthy, where I am loved where manifestations just happen so easily and quickly for me. And of course, for the good of all involved and harm to none. Ashe. Can you feel that vibration? Can you feel the smile on my face as I'm seeing myself living the life of my dreams as the energies of the Nine of Cups? And this is what you want to infuse in your water so that you can quantum leap into the new timeline. So what we're going to do next, we are going to now bring into physical reality the action of quantum leaping. Let's get ready to quantum leap into the new timeline. In, breathe in and feel yourself feeling like this. And take your water and see yourself jumping over into the new timeline and as you are pouring the water into the next cup 
into that empty vessel. See yourself feel the new reality becoming a manifestation into the tangible reality. Just feel and infuse this new quantum leap, infuse this new timeline with so much joy, with so much gratitude, with so much love. Thank you, divine. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now take that cup of water and drink it because now this is the new reality. This is the new timeline and the action of drinking the water is that water is going to become you, is going to become a part of you and water holds memory. So we are drinking this water, holding the memory of the feeling of the energies of the nine of cups. We've really infused the joy. We've really infused this water with the gratitude. We have infused the love, the excitement and everything that we want as if it's already happened. So take a glass. Cheers. Enjoy the new timeline that is now becoming a part of you. <laughs> and so it is for the good of all and harm to none. Enjoy your new reality and remember to go in the comment section below and comment on eight people's manifestation. Because remember, by giving you open up your hands to receiving a shake.